I'm picking the kiddo up from daycare, I'm doing an audiobook. When I'm going to grab some fast food, I'm listening to my audiobook. All of these things, right? If you're going to the gym, I'm listening to an audiobook. So keep watching and I will tell you all about how I read four books a week. Hey y'all, this is Kyla Denanyo and we are talking all about books. Specifically, we're talking about reading, okay? I love reading my friends but let's talk about how I read so many books first of all you have to choose a book that you want to read that can be anything and I don't care if it is fiction I don't care if it's non-fiction I don't care if it's the history of comic books it has to be something you actually want to read because that's going to make you pick up the book and look at it okay the second way for you to get started reading is audiobooks when I'm picking the kiddo up from daycare, I'm doing an audiobook. When I'm going to grab some fast food, I'm listening to my audiobook. All of these things, right? If you're going to the gym, I'm listening to an audiobook. It might just be 15 minutes, 20 minutes here and there, but it adds up. And next thing you know, you finish that entire book. There's a big audiobook company. <laughs> Audible definitely delivers audiobooks. Now, I live in Ohio. I have access to one of the best library systems in the country, the Columbus Metropolitan Library. They use an app called Libby, L-I-B-B-Y, and that is how I listen to audiobooks. They are 100% free. I just have to plug in my library card number, not have a fine and all that stuff that doesn't give me access, and I can choose a book. There's a number of books that are available right now. So have you tried to use the Libby app? Are you even interested in audiobooks? If you've had a bad experience with audiobooks, I would put that more on the narrator then I would audiobooks, okay? So please give it a second chance. The third tip that I have for how to read at least three books a week is to choose a book that challenges you, okay? A book that challenges you does not have to be War and Peace. I say that because that book is at least 900 pages. <laughs> I just read this book about personal finance. It's a small book, but it's well over 200 pages and it was fascinating. There was so much stuff in here that I didn't know. Let's say you only do nonfiction. You go out on the limb, you decide to read Dune, and you're like, well, I enjoyed the movie, let me see if the book is anything like it. Try something that's gonna be a little bit different. Get a different perspective. The way that I am able to read at least three books a week, most of the time four books a week, is because I read something that I really enjoy that I burn through. I listen to audiobooks when I have time, and I read a book that challenges me because that's gonna make me wanna pick it up. Okay, so. I'm so excited that you are interested in reading more books. Okay, I have an entire playlist where I talk about my favorite books, so make sure you check that out. If I've done a review on it, you'll see it right here in this playlist so that you can keep watching, all right? Keep reading, and I'll see you later.